Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building and reviewing set number 71778, which is Nia's Dragon Power Drift. Now, I have done a review for Lloyd's version of this spinner, and I will be doing a review for Kai's if I get the Lego set. No guarantees, but this is the minifigure, and I honestly think it's quite cool. And now that I've completed building this set, I will be doing its review. Now the minifigure is awesome, I love it, except for the masks. I have complaints about the masks of all of the ninja in Ninjago Dragons Rising, but that is for another video. However, um, I love the trident, I love how it spins, it actually spins when you test it out. It is a great set in my opinion. Some of the stuff off the to the side when you look at my other set review for Lloyd's set, um, I said that it doesn't really make sense. I didn't know what the golden ball was, but it is now the Dragon Call. I'm aware of that, so when, when you go back and watch that video, just know that Ninjago Dragons Rising Part 2 hadn't come out when I made it. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome set. Um, in my opinion, definitely worth the money. I paid ten dollars for this set. Um, you can usually get the cheapest Ninjago sets from Kmart. They charge the cheapest prizes, prices. But um, if there's a special on anywhere else, I'd recommend looking at that. But this set is a pretty awesome set, and I'm pretty sure. Um, take this with a heavy grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure the lowest this set has come to is ten dollars but yeah this is a great set in my opinion and I would totally recommend going to buy it also to get the minifigure and add it to your collection so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did like and subscribe